Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. And I'm Carson Oaks. And today on our show, we have news on a couple from Tampa who got trashed, literally, how the girls' weightlifting team is doing. And then an update on a funeral in North Carolina, and a, remer and a reminder to keep showing Mustang pride. But first, let's see what weather is all about. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. Thank you, Carson. It was no surprise I found ice in my car this morning due to the fact that current temperatures are at 47 degrees with a brisk low of 41 and a moderate high of 66. There's still no chance of rain and humidity is at 96%, but there will be clear skies all throughout the day. The only chance of rain is possibly Sunday, but it won't be as much as a burden due to the fact that we have another Sunday to enjoy off on Monday. The weather photo of the day was sent in almost three months ago by Leah Thompson. No one has been sending in photos, so this is basically as good as new. It shows the school logo surrounded by a beautiful day. Thanks so much for that picture, Leah. And make sure you send your shots of the weather into mhsweatherphoto at gmail.com. For birthdays, our very own Kiana Moore is celebrating her 18th. What are you doing today? I am going out to eat with my family and my friends. Awesome. Now let's give it over to Carson, who has our lunch and campus updates. Head down to the cafeteria today to enjoy delicious cheese, meatball, pepperoni, or spinach calzone. And you may also purchase a delectable regular spicy chicken patty sandwich, a French market combo, a grilled cheese sandwich, or a salad from the salad bar. And that's all for lunches. And now for your campus news. And you heard the announcement at 8.40. If you are having early dismissal, you must pick up your pass before leaving. And seniors, if you would like pictures of you and your friends in the Senior Breakfast Slideshow, then please email them to mitchellclassof2015 at gmail.com. And the sale of candy grams for Valentine's Day started yesterday and will be hosted by National English Honor Society. And you can make your orders during lunches and they are only $1. Then third quarter progress reports will be distributed tomorrow in your first period. And lastly, a reminder to all students to keep showing your Mustang pride. Speaking of this, here's Savannah's piece on hallway etiquette. I saw you. Saw what? I saw what you did! I didn't do anything! Liar, I saw you! Walking into your classroom all disrespectful and whatnot, when you know you should walk in quietly and politely. You stop this stupid class! I saw you walking through the halls like you own the place, pushing everybody around, ruining their day. I wasn't doing that, I was walking through the halls like I was supposed to. No you weren't! And then you entered the classroom and you bothered everyone around you and you threw stuff all around! No I didn't, you have no proof! I saw you. Just do the right thing next time. Today in local news, St. Petersburg police have arrested a man suspected of spray painting several downtown businesses. Jared Hernandez, 30 years old, apparently had spray painted businesses using the tag AVAR, with the most recent incident happening on January 31st at the Lucky Dill Deli on Central Avenue. Hernandez was arrested on Wednesday morning outside of his home and police said he refused to make a statement. As of right now, he has been booked into Pinellas County Jail on six counts of criminal mischief. That's, going on, that's all that's in local news. Now let's send over to Michael with On Scene. No, Savannah, I am not giving blood today. I'm in Blood Bus number three with the lovely ladies and Spencer here. Spencer, did that hurt? No, not really. No? All right. Who's your teacher this period, and why don't you like them? <laughs> um, I've got Miss Olsen Burns, but uh, I wasn't just doing this to get out of class. So. Likely story. Likely story. Now, what are you trying to accomplish here? Are you doing this for any reason or just to get out of class? Um... I'm doing it because I have a rare blood type, so uh, it's good to give blood. They uh, don't always have a lot of it. Nice. And what is your blood type? I'm O negative. Nice. I think I'm O positive. I'm not sure, though. All right. So what's the difference? I, I heard you say something about it, like special machine. What's, what's the difference between regular blood and... This machine, we can focus on collecting just red blood cells or plasma. Since he has universal red cells, we're going to collect just that and get uh, two units instead of one. Awesome. Great job. You saved those lives. Back to you guys in the studio. Take this, haters. Get that, 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 that don't kill me. Can only make me. 
Well, Michael, that was not Savannah, that was Amber. I don't know how you got them mixed up. But in Mustang Sports, we had two members of our girls' weightlifting team go to states. They were Lizelle Johnson and Casey Capra. Both girls competed against some very tough competition, but showed that they belong there. Casey Capra broke the school record in the 119 weight class that was held by Tanisha Dixon since 2008, and Lizelle Johnson lifted a personal best at the meet. Congratulations, Lizelle and Casey. And to all the other girls on the team who had a great year. And in tennis news, the boys' team had their first victory yesterday against 5A. The singles who won were Daniel Lukish, Zach Ozepian, Jeremiah Sikma, Matt Nelson, and Brett Howard. The doubles who won were Daniel Lukish and Zach Ozepian. Another Mustang Sports, our softball team won 4-2 against golf last night. Madison Staniloy pitched, and Kelsey Vanavera hit a two-run home run. The girls have played three games now and have outscored their opponents 38 runs to just three. The girls will play tonight against Dixie Hollins in their first home game. And lastly, tonight is a huge day for the boys' basketball team. We play our first regional game tonight against Armwood. And at this point in the season, it is win or the season is over. So please come out and support. We have worked really hard for this home court advantage by winning the district championship. So a great student section would really help out. That's all for me in the Sports Cage. Today in national news, more than 2,000 people attended a vigil at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill on Wednesday to mourn the death of a family of three. Dentistry student Dea Barakat, his wife Yusor Abdusala, and her sister Razan Abdusala were all fatally shot by a neighbor who police believe was motivated by an ongoing dispute over parking spaces. On the other hand, the families of those slain believe the three may have been killed because they are Muslim. Police Chief Chris Blue said that they understand the concerns about the possibility that this was a hate-motivated crime, and they will exhaust every lead to determine if that is the case. As of right now, the identified shooter, Craig Hicks, 46, has been charged with first-degree murder. In other news, police in Washington fatally shot a man who was apparently throwing rocks at them. Police Chief Bob Metzger said Antonia Zambrano Montez threw at least one softball-sized rock and did not respond to the officer's orders to put down the projectiles. After deploying a taser that had no effect on Antonia, the situation escalated to police shooting him on the scene. The family of Antonia said they want justice before something like this happens to another family. That's all national news. Carson, what's happened in Texas Walmart? Well, Amber, I wish we could show you the video because a woman in Deer Park, Texas has been banned from her local Walmart after allegedly headbutting a tax worker during a disagreement. The incident happened Saturday night when Jessica Alblitz got into an argument with Alex, Alice Keener, who is a tax worker at a Jackson Hewitt branch located inside the Walmart. When things got really heated, she didn't hesitate to strike the other woman in the chest with her head, and afterwards she was promptly kicked out of the store. And then authorities in Florida say a man and woman who were intoxicated had to be rescued after falling asleep in a dumpster that was later emptied into a garbage truck. Hillsborough County Sheriff's officials say the couple had been sleeping in a dumpster outside a convenience store near Tampa early Wednesday. When the dumpster was emptied into the back of the garbage truck, they started screaming and banging on the sides of the truck. Rescue crews were called over at, after 5 a.m. They removed the two from the truck and they were taken to the Jampa General Hospital after complaining of huge back pain. And just a reminder, if you were applying for Prom Fashion Show, the list of applicants who got accepted is outside the CRC, and we have a 10-minute meeting in both lunches. And there is a GSA meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you for tuning into the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. And I'm Carson Oaks. Have a great day.